Hello from beautiful, sunny Santa Monica. Ah, I feel like I have so much to share. I don't know where to start. Um, this is just my first vlog entry of my YouTube channel. I don't know about you, but I just love being alone. And driving up this coastline is my favorite way of doing that. It's like the further I go, the more space I have around me to hear. Not just my own thoughts unfiltered by others' energy and opinion, yet a clearer connection to my inner knowing. It's like my rusty codependent compass can align its dials and I can be led by the pronounced beat of my own heart. See, I seem to be able to live this heart-led journey with much more ease when I'm alone. But put me around people and I'm overtaken by people pleasing and being there for everyone else. I know that might sound lovely, but I seem to lose connection to my own inner sense of direction. So every so often I need this time to just reset and connect. And man, am I grateful for it. It's like the quieter I become, the more I can hear. The ultimate goal is having the sense of peace and connection without needing to pull myself out of life, being able to be led by my heart and wholeheartedly show up for my loved ones. But this living from the heart thing can be such a bloody layered process to really be able to hear its deepest truth. For me, it's about being able to stay with the discomfort of not caring what others think, that the journey can really begin. Because the heart often reveals a direction that transcends what we've ever known. It carves a new path forward that can feel scary and uncomfortable and even painful at the start. And to break free, it's like a coming out that takes great courage, daring to be different and having a willingness to disappoint others to really honor ourselves. It's hard, but I believe it's a big step on the way to I've seen so many people reading it again. So I was like, I just have to pick this up. And then look how good this quote is on the back. If this just doesn't say it all, to realize one's destiny is a person's only obligation. This is it. Talking what and all. I just jumped out of the surf, cuddled up in this duvet, did my afternoon meditation. Very happy lady over here. Taking this time with myself doesn't just bring clarity, but helps me build that kind of unshakable strength within amongst all that I have going on in my life right now. As my teacher Jeff says, if it's not good for you, it's not good for anyone, which I've always really struggled with. But the best part about that is if it's aligned, it's good for everyone. And I can really show up at the right place, right time and serve in a way that's beyond my small ways of being and trying with a higher purpose and guidance. It's now a process of trusting that over the loud perceived needs of everyone else and my own condition, I feel bad and I really should kind of thinking and learning true self-love and acceptance. So I'm not looking outside of myself for validation. And what I've really been reminded of on this trip is that loving ourselves isn't about loving what we look like or about what we do. It's about loving ourselves for simply who we are and knowing at its core that that is enough. It's a daily practice to connect to this wholeness within, but I'm coming to see that it's only from this place that true unfiltered direction and connection to the heart is really possible. Just found a cute little town. I 
I mean, I think we're still in Santa Barbara, but it's like a fun little neighborhood. Googled a internet cafe somewhere with internet and good coffee and found this little local place that does acai bowls too. So excited about that. Can't wait to show you a little bit more of this town once I find out the name. Oh, Embarcadero Hall. No, once I find out the name, I'll let you know. <laughs> In a quarter mile, turn right onto East Ohio Avenue. It's this feeling of self-reliance and independence while being on the road that really reminds me of how I want to live. Simple things like being able to discover new places, going my own way at my own time, and also taking full responsibility in the discomfort or the feelings of loneliness and fear or all that guilt for taking this time that really show up when being alone or honoring myself. It's building my capacity to be with all the feels and stay with myself amongst it, not reach outside of myself for comfort, and really strengthen that connection to my quiet inner voice and at the same time, be able to hold myself with the courage it takes to follow it. I can notice what's truly charming my heart and practice letting that fearlessly lead the way. I hope you carve out some time to be with your wonderful self connect with your precious heart and dare greatly by following what you find, knowing that in truth, that's the best way to serve everyone. From my heart to yours, thanks for following along. Anyway, I could ramble on. I just think the light's really good here and I wanted to get something out. That's so good. I should just do a quick fix to camera here. Hey, welcome to my YouTube channel. Los Angeles.